guys Michael here with uh, Warp Drive M. In today's episode we are going to try to remove some rust spots on the E39. Let's begin! As you can see I've marked the rust and uh, I'm quite curious if it's going to be a hole in here or not. Anyway so I've marked the rust, rust. I'm going to use a cutter I'm going to use a wire brush. I'm going to use. I'm. I don't know how this is called in English. Pencil. I. I have no idea. So to clean the spot. After that, I'm going to use a corrosion protection and a primer. Yeah, of course, it said everything in German. And I have a, a swell a brush with a drilling machine, but I'm not sure uh, which one I should I use, the hand one or this one, because I don't want to, to ruin the paint uh, where uh, it doesn't need to. Because, as you can see, the paint is in very good shape. As you can see, it's just dirty, but it's very good shape. And the car has this spot this one and I have to remove the bumper this one as well in here almost all the E39 have this problem and uh, I think that's about it yeah uh, I don't know if you remember if you watch my videos this one was like this since I bought the car, it was uh, with more uh, color from the other uh, car, but I've uh, washed the car, uh, the color, and I'm going to try to um, sand all these rough edges, and uh, I'm to going to try to repair this as well, because uh, as you can see, dirt all all over the tires. We have uh, the rainy season. <laughs> yeah, it's. It's going to rain a lot and I want I want to protect a little bit the car and uh, of course I have to put the pavement in here uh, because uh, like this I cannot work properly anyway so let's try some methods So this is the final uh, result, as you can see I've cleaned all the rusty part till I've uh, find, found uh, good uh, met metal, as you can see here is shiny and here is, it was with rust and I've uh, done this method all over. Okay, now I have to uh, remask everything, clean, clean first, remask, and after that I'm going to use the first step, corrosion protection. So I've made the contour, so I want to be painted like this, and now I'm going to put paper like here, all over the place, and after that I'm going to start spraying. The first step is complete. 
<laughs> it's just like I've killed a tomato <laughs> in here. Yeah, I know it's uh, red, but um, it's la just uh, anti-corrosion protection. And uh, with the second step, with the primer, it's going to be almost the color of the car. And now let's use the primer. Let's see how it looks like. And the last step was done. I have a lot of runs, but if you pay attention, the runs are exactly under the tape. So until here, it's going to be nice and shiny, I hope. Yeah, you can uh, notice the old spot where the rust was, but I, it doesn't matter because uh, now it's protected. Now let's uh, take the newspaper and see how it look like, looks like. Ta-da! The result, I uh, want to try to wipe this red paint for, from underneath and uh, other than that it looks okay. So job done. Now I have to take the rear bumper off to see how uh, bad this one is. Okay, but I have to leave this for tomorrow. Now that um, the rear bumper is off, I can start working on this rust. And now I can see how much rust I have underneath. But as you can see, it's not that bad. I uh, don't have any holes in the metal that, that I have to fill up. So I'm, uh, like I've said, very happy with the result. I've cleaned as good as I could all the rust. And the first step, the Corrosion protection is done, as you can see, and I've done a bigger piece here underneath, a bigger piece. I've done the whole piece underneath with this protection corrosion, as you can see. And now I've uh, done the, I've done the primer, as you can see. And then underneath as well. And that's the result. Without the tape. Underneath looks quite good. And in here as you can see I've just painted the prob uh, problems, the spots with uh, rust. And job done. This is just the first step and uh, it will be the last one for today because I've noticed that um, this uh, primer is mixing with the red anti-corrosion protection so that means that it's not uh, the fully dried that uh, corrosion protection so I'm gonna leave it like this till tomorrow and I've used uh, some Bondo now. I will uh, send it 
and uh, after that I will uh, use again uh, primer and uh, it will stay like this uh, and maybe when I am ready with the car because this car will be like a project car I don't know if you watch my videos but uh, this one will receive a turbo kit and uh, more but uh, I don't want to uh, rust anymore this car now the bondo is uh, fully cured because it's the next day <laughs> now I'm going to use a sand block and uh, I'm going to use a sandpaper It is almost perfect from the first So I have to redo these points here and here and this line and um, the other ones the fine points it will be f uh, filled up with the primer The second and final step with Bondo, it's done. Now you have, you can have a close-up. You can see it is almost perfect from the first hand. Ta-da! The final result. As you can see, I've put the bumper back on. And uh, I've had to paint in here as well. It's not perfect. And uh, I have some um, reaction in here because I uh, didn't send it everything perfect I have a spot in here but um, as you can all see it is way better so uh, so <laughs> German it is, it is way better like this uh, than uh, the rusty stuff in here so this side is done This wind is wild today and uh, this side is done as well I'm I know it's not perfect but uh, but I'm going to leave it like this uh, this winter and uh, when I'm going to be ready with this car with the uh, engine mods and stuff like that I'm going to um, do this professionally uh, with paint of course but now I don't have to worry about the rust I have to do this uh, small spot, but I'm going to do that off camera. I just wanted to show you how I uh, did this uh, side and uh, the other uh, corner at the door. And I think that's about it for today's episode. I hope you liked this video. Uh, now that the rust spots are done, we can start uh, working some real mods. Uh, stay tuned for that. Until next time, see you later.